Well, welcome back everyone. Well, what we've been doing is been trying to move sunflowers out of our grain bin. What happened is the pile got hot, got uh, set up or fairly fairly hard. And what happened is when we put the drag auger on, the pile came down. And when it came down, it, it wrecked either the gearbox or we're just, I guess we're kind of in the middle of trying to figure out what's going on. But I'll flip you around here and kind of show you how this works. And maybe somebody's seen it and knows how to fix it instead of pulling this whole gearbox out. But here's here's what we got. What we what we have is we got what they call a lump buster in here in the middle. And this right here, you can pull it back, the lever back to engage a lump buster. or push it ahead to engage the floor sweep. When you go back, the lump buster kicks on and it works, but you go ahead, the floor sweep won't kick on. Let's go inside here once and hopefully I'm not making you, shaking you all over, making you dizzy, but this kind of what's happened. I'm not sure if we got a wet spot in here or what, but when it came down, it, it broke the, it broke the actual gearbox we believe what happens there's a, a set of forks in here that rod and it actually pushes in and engages the the floor sweep so it turns and here's actually the lump buster that busts lumps up so it doesn't plug up your sump here but as we take it apart i'm gonna take the pull the auger back out of the floor part ways have to uncouple the motor out here. There's like four bolts at the end and I'll pull the auger back. Then this floor sweep actually right here, I'm gonna pull that off and lift it to the side and see if we can get to the gearbox. But it's uh, sure is a pain in the hind end. I guess nothing's hardly ever easy, but anyway, make the best of room picking away at this thing so i'll just keep you updated i'll keep taking shots as we keep t taking it apart here all right i got the floor auger pulled out far enough to where it should be uncoupled from the gearbox so let's uh after that part let's go back in to see what we have on the gearbox now if we turn it by hand or engage it somehow all right after a lot of pry barring and pulling and tugging I have here's the gearbox the auger that goes down on that torpedo that's pulled back so now we're at the point where we can pull this gearbox or take a look and see what what's actually why it's not engaging the floor sweep and if you see right down there there's a rod that rod slides in and out and that's what's supposed to engage it so we'll just, uh, what I keep saying, picking and grinning, we'll keep you informed. Yeah, that's a good time for a little break. But I'm having a hard time getting this gearbox out. And I pulled the four bolts out on top. And at this point, it's, I have it somewhat loose. So well, the next step is to pull the metal screws on the side where that metal plate is, but I can't get this, this plate out. You put a pointer on it right here. If I could get that plate out, I would think it might just flip up and lift out. But that's what I'm working on, and hopefully if I got to do this again, I uh, have this video to go back and look at it. Okay, keep in touch. All right, we finally got this lifted out of the hole. And this plate is on the back side, goes on top. Hold that other plate up there, how that went. This other plate. This other plate goes like this on top. 
and inside on the back side of the bracket there. Okay. All right, we got uh, the gearbox lifted out and testing the gearbox. Oops, let me get my mitts off here, hang on. Anyway, after testing the gearbox, right now it's in neutral and the bottom shaft is not turning. Now if we put it in gear, oops, gear's right there. Now we got, we're engaged for the, for the lump buster. Now if we go the other way, now the drag auger runs. And that's just by turning the main shaft. We go back to neutral, we're in neutral. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this. What I do see a problem with, I believe, is let's walk back over here is this rod that engages it get down here and this rod that engages it is this right right here it's that loop right right there where it catches that but anyway, when it's down here and in the track, it's, I think this bar right here is bent and uh, it's catching when it's supposed to be all the way up. It's catching right, right here. So we, I think we need to cut this rod back, get it straightened back out. So, cause the rod should actually be Right about over here where my finger is. Whoops. Right about there. So if any of you guys got bend sweeps and they're the superior type, superior bends. Well, let's give you guys a little bit of a lesson. And myself. So the other thing is I uh, took this apart out here. Oops, let me get out. Hang on. Anyway, I took this apart here and the linkage here is all fine. So, okay, keep in touch. Since we got the gearbox out, and uh, the bottom one, let's check the oil and see how much we really got to put in it or if it's good. Just uh, things don't want to miss while you got it apart. Keep, keep looking. On the bend sweep, when uh, I was drag augering this floor sweep, anyway, a pile came down and when it came down, this is the piece that bolts on to the gearbox and then your auger slides on over the top and i'm not sure there's two cogs on there and if there's a bad weld not sure but anyway they they sent me a replacement and this is what the replacement looks like and it's uh looks like it's a little heavier but anyway, I got that installed now. And I think what happened is when that broke, it, the auger come around and caught that bar that's supposed to engage the gearbox in the forward. forward. So next I'm going on over there, I'm gonna try to cut that piece off, get it all bent straight, and then uh, put a little flat iron beside it with some C-clamps and uh, we'll just keep you informed as we go. But that bend was pretty much three quarter full when that all happened. So it's, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of shoveling and a lot of sweat and tears in this whole thing. But anyway, we'll keep you in touch and uh, keep informed as we keep going. This is the piece that is the rod that runs all the way to the outside of the bend to put it in gear. That gear loop that I had earlier, it goes right in here to put it in gear, the transmission part. This thing was bent. 
pretty uh pretty bad it had a pretty bad twist in it so i've twisted it straight somewhat i'm gonna take it over and see how it kind of lines up and you know from what i'm seeing this looks like this was the culprit so keep going in case somebody ever has this same issue well starting back on the project again the arm that engages the sweep itself is is had a twist in it too and i'm not sure where that happened or it was like that from factory or i guess i'm not sure but we're going to straighten it up and we put a linkage up by the actual gear gearbox so that can be adjustable too so anyway here's a little update 30 second blipper this is how the linkage i made some linkage here so it can be adjusted in the hole down the road but that's what i did is i made a linkage there where i can change a linkage to get it into gear or to get the lump buster in gear to back up i can shorten that linkage up or make it longer whatever i need to do so anyway i'm ready to set the gearbox back in and keep picking away me and my picking away all right just in the middle of putting everything back together and uh here's the final final look at it if you're ever going to do this again or if we ever did it again all you need to do is pull these outside four bolts the outside four bolts and this will lift out of there and you also got to make sure you got the gearbox in neutral other than that it would uh, lift pretty much straight up so now we got a linkage in here also so all right sounds good well we got the drag on here the drag on the back and back in action on one belt, so if it does plug or something, you can slip the belt. Is it working? All right. 